I mean, you're kind of like the biggest dude that I could think of. I don't know. It's going to be tough for you to find a bigger guy. Paul. Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your girl Tosh, aka Coco Bone, coming at you with another reaction video, hunty. Yes, honey. So, tonight's reaction is going to be to Jason Love calls in during Lena's No Jumper interview. while we react to this clip okay so this is about 10 minutes i am not pausing let's go ahead and just get into it let me go ahead and get my screen recorder set up and without further ado let's get into this reaction shall we mr <laughs> jason love how you doing man what's good what's good uh we're just doing a little podcast here and uh figured that we would uh you know have a little conversation with you to see exactly how this works for you as well Ooh, ooh. That's why I chimed in. Catch y'all. See what's up. Definitely. So, is there? What's the vibe like between you guys? Anything I should know about? I don't think there's a, like a really vibe. I think it's like a business thing. But I feel just very uncomfortable with this right now. I felt awkward. A little uncomfortable. Can you tell to him how nervous I was? Bro, like so nervous. Oh my god, I, I feel so wrong right now. I feel so wrong right now. Like, it's, like, it's just work. Okay. But a lot of people have like a cheating fetish. Like I'm not gonna lie, like the, the I feel like you do. Yeah, cheating I've done in the past. So she feels so wrong. I was really not trying to pause y'all, but she feels so wrong because again, it was the heavenly father in that moment trying to give her a chance. Walk away. Don't do it. Be faithful to your husband you just married. But the devil, which is Jason, in my opinion anyway, the devil. And the devil don't come to you in red skin and red horns. He come to you in what you desire. The devil was in Jason Love, and Jason Love was like, It's just work. Calm down. Let's get it in. <laughs> Yo, it's funny, but then it's not funny. It's, this is honestly sad, but we're going to get into how I feel at the end. Let's keep going. Was I a little bit turned on by the fact that I was doing something underhand? Or take, take myself out of it, but like, if you're fucking a girl and you know she has a boyfriend and she's doing something wrong, that is kind of hot. Is it? Hot. Wait, what? See, he knows. It's kind of like the adrenaline. The adrenaline like, I'd feel so guilty if, if I was the other woman. Okay, so Jason, give me a, a genuine review. How was it? You want like a, 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 a number scale or just like... <sighs> Numbers sounds like it could be hurtful, but <laughs> if, you, if it's a high number, sure. Is it like a four? <laughs> 100% 9 out of 10. Really? 9 out of 10? Who's a 10? Well, obviously, huh? Oh. Well, she was well, a 9 out of 10. I never I never grasped for a top 10 before. It's like you got to leave room for something that could possibly be top of the next one. Okay, yeah. I'll take a 9 then. That's fair. Um, okay, yeah. So a lot of people want to know, uh, I don't know, just like <laughs> if I should feel diminished as a man as a result of this. Like the cuck narrative is very, very strong. I just want to get your thoughts on that and if, if, if how people should think about that in, in the context of me being, you know, the, the silent third party and all this. Well, I don't know. Like, if you look at it in the business aspect, then basically it's just a job, you know. She's high up in her ranks. I'm high up in my ranks. Us two together, obviously, make the most amounts of money. So that's the like being a cook. If you're comfortable with it, y'all communicated the problem. Obviously, she said y'all did. So it's not really a cook situation. It's more of like, for guys, it's a tough situation. I don't know not one man that would be cool with this. I just, I, I mean, I let, like, I, like I said, unless he sold his soul. 
Well, Most men would dip. For you to find a dude bigger I don't gotta be no man to know that, honey. The giant or something. That's just from life experience. Lesnar to come <laughs> and set it up for you, but I mean, you're kind of like the biggest dude that I could think of. I don't know. It's gonna be tough for you to find a bigger guy. Paul. They got, they got a couple. They got a couple. Yeah. Like you know, not just the size; it's everything that goes into it that makes it. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Lena, Lena is just like shriveling up into a ball right now. I can see how uncomfortable this is making you. Yes, this is making me very uncomfortable. And I'm glad that he's only, you know, on. And she head. still feel guilty! You think that would be awesome? That's the Heavenly Father yeah, right here like in this moment! A lot of sexual tension, and I felt like we would have to do a scene. Oh, if you guys were both God. here. See, she's out of control now. God is still telling her how much of a nut, cornball, noodle, tomato soup can. Just dipsy bitch she is. And I don't mean to say, you know, the B word after the Heavenly Father. I, I'm sorry, Father. I'm just, I'm just talking. But, you know, I'm just saying, like, she feels nervous because she know it was wrong. Let's keep going. She's on a tear. <laughs> I've been known to have that effect. I apologize. See, all right. Now I'm going to have to really mind you next time you're going to an adult event that he's going to be at, right? No, but I would be turned on if you were there. Uh, yeah, it's like you're part of it. So you think that if me and you go out to a party and we see him, that there's a chance that we'd all end up hooking up after? I don't know what his stance is on working with you. Oh, uh, good point, <laughs> no. I, I, don't, I don't care. Oh, hell yeah. Get it, I get it in regardless. Damn, that would be, yeah, I can see that. That would probably kind of make me feel like I put a cap on this whole situation if we all did it together. Wow, maybe that is the three-way that we should do, because that would be pretty viral rather than just some random guy, right? Yeah. It would be crazy. Hmm. As long as I'm not Funny. sitting in a chair with my fucking you arms tied one, behind my back or shot. whatever. You gotta hold the camera okay. for one shot. All right, because now I gotta rewrite the script. <laughs> yeah, what, what, do, what do people need to know about Jason Love since, like, you're kind of... I, I almost feel like a large percentage, maybe even the majority of the photos that you're gonna be taking over the next year or so, you're gonna... It's gonna be people saying, like... You're the dude who fucked Adam 22's wife. I don't know. I mean, I know you get recognized all the time, but it's kind of an interesting scenario that you're in now, right? I got stopped on the street like four or five times already. Normally, it's just to talk to me about me, but then it's like, oh, no, no jump on the wife. So I'm like, what? Yeah, I guess. Oh, my wow. God. Insane. Um, Adam is a bitch. I'm sorry. More of those offers. See, I've only had a couple people say I'm that too to me. I'm too possessive for this shit. I can't do it. I can't do it, y'all. Right. So, if we do choose to have another kid, how am I going to know it's mine and not... Oh, my God. I can't... No, cut. What? What? Don't even bring that up. Are you kidding? How you met you <laughs> little fucker? It's like me cuddling your belly. And, and you feel... Don't feel insecure now. See? He's... I'm t I told y'all that nigga um, is cat. BBC offensive? No, it's just a visual description. It's not you're just saying it's, it is what it is. You, you see it, that's what it is. Like, that, that's what I'm saying. But I wonder if I get too comfortable with talking about black people shit because of the fact that like all my co-hosts on the podcast are black and stuff because I've seen some of these lily white fucking hipster bitches on Twitter just raging out being like BBC is offensive and I won't respond to them but I am thinking in my head like you have never been around black people besides getting fucked by them for your OnlyFans, so shut the fuck up. That's kind of what's going on in the back of my head. Oh, I don't like you. God. I just thought I don't care. If you see a school bus and it's yellow, <laughs> you're like, where did you park? Buying a big yellow school bus. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, it's just, it's a statement of fact. Big and like, black. You know, in the real world, that's I can see that. <laughs> you know? You Asian girl and you're like, oh, I'm so turned on by Asian girls. I can see how that's like a bad thing. But we're in porn. This is like, we are we are here to satisfy fetishes, right? Yeah. Um, it's just right. It's been around for a minute now. Yeah, what, what do you got coming up? Anything in the future that uh, we should know about? You're, this you're going is on so fucking awkward. For, uh, for a, a brand, right? Oh, yeah, well, I'm going, I'm going to Europe for about two weeks. But I did just drop my book. What's the book? Uh, it's called uh, Louisiana Slim, The Family, about my, my previous life before I got to adult. Really? Because I always wonder that when I see you with the tattoos on your face and everything. I'm like, I wonder what this guy was doing around town before he got into the porn game. 
lot of things. You know, when you, when you come from poverty, you know, you got to make it how you make it. Uh, ain't that the truth? Well, we're going to do like a full length interview at some point, but um, I appreciate you banging my wife. God. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? I'm a professional, you know, I go in and knock it out. That's what I do. Hey, I, I absolutely, I cannot hold it against you, my friend. Did you see it yet? I saw a few of the, the clips, and, uh, yeah, I think you guys, you put it down. Now the this is so, so weird we and lame. To oh my How god. Did you get here? Kayak, they can He's like, yeah, yeah. thank you for being in my life. You know. Know. Kayak, totally. take one. <laughs> Damn. I believe it was mainstream and probably went on board. Oh, well, that's a big idea. My assistant didn't even the idea to submit it for an AVN. I was like, I don't know, I feel like oh. this might be crossing the line. Yeah, Pound Town. You just left Pound Town. <laughs> I was going to call it the wedding gift. Mm. Pound Town! The <laughs> left Pound Town! For the record, it wasn't your wedding gift, but it, it was something crazy. that you kind of like felt more comfortable with after the wedding and whatnot, right? It just makes sense. That's what everyone's latching on to. They just got married, you know? Mm. So. <laughs> All right, Mr. Love, appreciate you. Bye, Jason. Funny. Okay, how was that for you? Felt a little uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, why? I mean, seven years in this relationship, never look at a guy, dance with a guy, text back with a guy, nothing. And then I'm having sex with a guy. You know, it's just a lot to process. I've been conditioned to believe it's cheating. There was one time where we went to a, a dinner and there was another guy there that just happened to be there and you knew I had slept with him and you mm -hmm. made me feel weird. So, yeah, it's just like a lot to unlearn. You always mention that scenario, but there's a lot more to that scenario that she's not mentioning. And that was not that much more. I felt weird about it for other reasons. Okay. And it was like it was your birthday and you're just bringing it up. I'm like, oh, cool. Make me think about you fucking this guy over here. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I know. You I were mean, mad about it. I was a little mad at that time. I was much less uh, emotionally mature yeah, he's fucking, or whatever. I'm but, clearly emotionally immature. I can't, I'm like giggling. The older I get, the more I know these guys be capping in and so they will front yes. to the wheels fall off until they get behind the clothes like, Put it down, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, ugh. Yeah, but he he's smart. He clarifies right away. It was a business move. You know, we're just making money, you know? Which is nice. Yeah, I'm sure he didn't enjoy it at all. I'm sure it sucks for him. He probably hated it. <laughs> you did say you were nine. All right, so you see it. We just hit 500K. You know what that means. All right, well, that's it for that that hot ass mess. Oh my, yeah, 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 yeah. That was it for that reaction video. And as I stated in the last previous one, you know, this is what it looks like when you sell your soul. If she felt uncomfortable with talking about that scene in front of her husband that she just got married to, that's still the Heavenly Father telling her what she absolutely did was positively wrong. It just sucks that this is what people go through in order to obtain fame and wealth. And if this is what it looks like to be famous and wealthy, honey, I don't fucking want it. I think I've stated, well, no, I remember me stating in my previous reaction video that, you know, I don't care to be a part of Hollywood. They are on some weirdo shit. As the days go on, they always getting exposed for some weirdo shit. I don't even know know if the cloning thing is real um that's gonna be my next reaction ice cube had came out and stated that you know jamie fox is a clone or the one we see him right now is a clone i don't even know how true that is but it wouldn't surprise me if that came out and confirmed as true so far in my opinion it's looking like it's true but saying that to say hollywood is just a weird fucking place and i have no desire to be a part of it you know why do i want to be a part of a world that doesn't honor marriage it doesn't honor love it doesn't honor righteousness and my life is all about living by what's right like i don't also like how we live in a world that's desensitized to this type of stuff it's like as days go on and we see stuff like this we just don't bat an eyelash to it we think this type of stuff is normal we are so desensitized to the point where somebody is getting wrongdoing done to them which makes them a victim by no choice, by natural causes of what is going on. And people will find a way for that victim to be at fault. Oh, well, you should have seen it coming. You know, you should have picked up the signs. And, you know, you should have had known that they was plotting against you. How the fuck do any human know that somebody is trying to fucking 
disarm them. Because the last time I checked, nobody is a fucking psychic. Now, if you really got that ability, that's a different scenario. But most people are not psychics. So nobody knows when someone's trying to do harm onto them. And it makes me like sick to my stomach that weirdos out here literally blame the victim instead of being morally conscious enough to blame the offender. That's how the world should go. It should not be a world that we live in where the offender gets a slap on the wrist and on their way, but the victim is getting fucking tortured by all these motherfuckers that are desensitized. They have no more morals. They have no more integrity. They have no more values. Sitting up here telling you that you're wrong for getting mistreated. It's fucking weird. And it just go and show that people have a hard time with facing their demons. There's a lot of people on this planet that would rather just chill alongside with their demons versus taking their demons on a full battle and getting rid of those demons out their life. And it's just, it's just sad, you know what I'm saying? But this whole scenario is just crazy. I feel like Adam 22 is a fucking bitch, in my opinion. He is not a real man. I don't know what real man would be okay with this. You know, any man that I know would leave and never come back and just restart all over in the right way. But, hey, that's my opinion. I said what I said. So, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, show your girl some love, help your girl get to 3,000 subs. Make sure to leave some suggestions down in the comment section down below. And please give me a big thumbs up for it helps to push my videos further out into the algorithm. I'm out this bitch, deuces. We live in a world that's extremely so cruel. Hitting below the belt, man, that's not cool. My feelings is numb to the point where I got a fork and I'm just eating this sauce like it's food. Yeah. Bitch, when I'm corny and ain't gonna be shit. Bitches is hoping I die when I'm sick. I might as well go to the sex store to buy me a strap on so weird cause they all on my dick Worry about me and what I just do Worry about me and what I just said The audience look at your life as a blue A fake as the snake when the real skin have shed